Hello, I'm Kathy Barnes with Academic Technology, and welcome to this training tutorial. The topic for this video is creating groups in Blackboard. Groups can have their own discussions, chat room, email recipients, and more. Instructors can control content based on group membership. In this tutorial, we will create, populate, and edit options in groups. From the control panel, click Users and Groups to expand its options. Then click the Groups link. Click the Hide Course menu arrow to increase the viewable area of the Groups page. You can create groups individually or as sets. Place your mouse over Create to view the options. Using the Single Group option means creating the groups one at a time. You can create these groups as self-enroll or manual enroll. Self-enroll means the students will be presented with a sign-up sheet and will choose their own group. Manual enroll means that as the instructor, you will choose the students for the group. Using the Group Set option allows you to create multiple corresponding groups. In addition to self-enroll and manual enroll, there is also a random enroll option, which assigns students to groups at random. Since the single group and group set are similar, this tutorial will concentrate on group sets. Click Manual Enroll to begin. First, enter a name for your group set. The name you enter will automatically be distributed to all groups in the set and then numbered. Scroll down to continue. A text box is provided if a description is desired. Set the Group is Visible to Students setting to No if the groups are not intended to be accessible to students. Otherwise, leave it set to Yes. There are a number of tools that can be made available to the groups. Leave Discussion Board checked to create a single forum per group. To allow any group member to create forums, leave the radio button selected. Students will need to access this forum via the Groups area and not the main course discussion board. Other tools may be included or removed based on how you would like the groups to use Blackboard. If you allow personalization, the students will be able to add modules, calculator, dictionary, or thesaurus to their group page. Enter the number of groups you want to create. Once you have completed your changes, click Submit from the lower right corner. Now you are ready to add students to the group. Notice the options for filtering available members. Hide members already in another group in this set means when you add students they will no longer be available to add to another group. Scroll down to continue. Notice you can edit the name of a group on this page. Click Add Users to begin selecting students for the first group. By clicking the checkbox, Show All Users Regardless of Role, Instructors, Teaching Assistants, and Graders will be listed in addition to Students. Click the checkbox next to the users you desire in the group. Once you have selected your students, click Submit from the lower right corner. The group members now appear in their group. Scroll down and repeat the process to add members to the second group. All group members now appear in their group. Scroll down and click Submit from the bottom right corner. From the Create drop-down menu, select Random Enroll to randomly select group members. Enter the name and optional description in the appropriate text boxes and scroll down to Tool Availability. Uncheck any tools you wish to remove. When you have completed the desired changes, scroll down to the Membership section. From Determine Number of Groups by, select Number of Students per Group or Number of Groups. I will select Number of Students per Group and enter 3 in the text box provided. Or, because I have 6 students, I could select Number of Groups and enter 2 in the text box provided to get the same result. Determine how to enroll any remaining members. By selecting Distribute the remaining members amongst the groups, put the remaining members in their own group, or 
Manually add the remaining members to groups. When you have completed your changes, select Submit from the bottom right corner. Finally, we will look at the Self-Enrollment option. Place your mouse over Create to view the options. Select Self-Enroll. Enter the name and optional description in the appropriate text boxes and scroll down. From Group is Visible to Students, select No, Yes, or Sign Up Sheet Only, which allows students to sign up but not see the group or its functionality. Uncheck any tools you wish to remove from the Tool Availability section. Scroll down to the Sign Up Options section. Enter the appropriate text in the Name of Sign Up Sheet text box. And scroll down to enter Sign Up Sheet instructions if desired. Enter the maximum number of members in the text box. Allow students to see names of other members in a group before they sign up by clicking the Show Members checkbox. Finally, scroll down to enter the number of groups to create by entering Number of Groups in the text box. When you have completed your changes, scroll to the bottom and click Submit. We have successfully created each kind of group set. Now we will scroll down and view options. Select the desired groups. From the View Options drop-down menu, select Show Tool Availability. Click the check mark under the desired tool to disable it. When you have completed your changes, select Hide Tool Availability from the View Options drop-down menu. After finishing your group option settings, select the Show Course menu arrow to expand the menu and navigate within the course. Thank you. This tutorial was developed by Western Kentucky University Information Technology Division. If you have questions or need further assistance, please contact the IT Help Desk at 270-745-7000.